We're on our way to preview this building here, courtesy of Greg over there. Shout out, Greg. We're going to try and sell lots of units in there. We're in Canary Wharf, which is basically London's take of New York City. Lots of big buildings everywhere. Um, so we're going to show you around and have a lot of fun. Come with us. Da -da 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 -da. The largest bumper apartment oh. on the estate. <laughs> when you were approaching Bumper Drive, you may have noticed that this building actually has three different layers. Yeah. Okay. So we are now in a loft typology, mm. uh, which has high ceilings of 2.9 meters, large wraparound balconies, and it's mm. actually the fastest selling of three typologies. We've got only two one beds remaining and one last two bedroom apartment. So only three apartments remaining in this uh, bottom part of our building. Oh my gosh. And remind me, where are you based? Where is your main office? Knightsbridge. Knightsbridge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, let me do it for you. It's actually, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. All the way up and slide. Jesus. <laughs> it's German made. Mm. Place. Mate, it's massive. Do you want to know the size? 300 square feet. This one's 30, 30 square meters, the balcony. Ooh, 327 yeah. square feet. Yeah. Just the outdoor space. And if you work at City, it's a great spot for yeah, you. Yeah, it's nice. And have you seen the storage as well? Uh, all these wooden panels, they have storage. That's the utility space for mm -hmm. wash and dryer. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Siga. Nice. Uh, this one's 965. Okay. What size? Uh, 679 square feet. Okay. 63 square meters. The next one I'll show you will be completely different. <laughs> was it plans. six seven five square feet? Uh, price or size? Both. Both. Six seven nine square feet. Yeah. And a nine six five price because of the large terrace. Yeah, it's like fourteen hundred. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's a bit better. Yeah. No, this is great. This is awesome. The windows are massive. Yeah, so if you're going to live in Canary Wharf, this is what you want, yeah. Gorgeous. It feels like New York, no? Yeah, yeah, the ceiling height's great. Wow. It's 3.2 meter high in here. Mm. And what's the price on this one? Uh, this one is 3,350,000. Really? It's not awful, though. It's not. In, in Southampton, well, it's 3 mil. Yeah. It's crazy. Three million pounds for this is really good. Mm. But look, I mean, imagine it's here, you know, prospecting, doing a bit of spectre, you know, making a few calls. The thing is, you're then 40 minutes away to the viewings. This is the terrible thing. So as an agent, you could never live here. But, um, yeah, but as a banker. Office work, then, yeah, but Come, see this. What do you think of the view? Not bad, that. Not bad at all. Not bad. You get best of both worlds. Here you're facing the river. In the living room, you're facing the banks. Wolf of Wall Street style, you know? Get yourself an ice cube. Good wardrobes. Yeah, this is one canary wall. Yeah. Say that to your buyers, Ava. Uh, Four million one hundred thousand. Do you think you can host really nice events here? Great party, party pads. Yeah. That's great. One thousand seven hundred square feet. One thousand seven hundred four million. Wow. It's on the G three line, and uh, it was great. Mm. But the views are just yeah. Yeah, we had a lot of uh, sales activities since uh, Elizabeth. Wow. Isn't this just crazy? Yeah, exactly. What is it, 4.1 million? Yeah. 
Yeah. What's the price of this? Yeah, 4.1. 4.1. 4.1, yeah. That's great. 2.4. If you compare it to what um, literally just Central Park Tower gets, you know, in New York. Yeah. Mm. It's ridiculous. But then again, I don't know. You know. It's just a different beast, really. If there was a Canary Wharf in the middle of West London, that would do really well. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah, well, cool. Right, here's another view. Yeah. Okay. JBL speaker? <laughs> For now. Really? I'm not sure what this is all about. Space. <laughs> this is different. Dentist vibes. Proper. Um, better than you know. Everyone does black. We did. They did white. Great. Polished concrete. Whoa! This is interesting. God. Want to have a shower with your mate? Girl, and uh, just so you are aware, we are very close to City Airport, which is very convenient, and you can yeah. see the runway from here. Oh, really? So often you see planes taking off and landing. Oh, that's cool, yeah. Good enough for you, Greg? This is good. I've always wanted a little uh, chair in my room, you see, to sit on and just uh, enjoy the morning. You should think, might, might give it a try. Oh. Let's get some Instagram shots, Andrew Tate ver version, you know. Yeah, you need a cigar. Yeah. Cup of tea here. Yeah. Cheers. I would live in, a, in something like this, but the problem is as soon as you hit the, like, outside here, like, what the f*** are you doing? I don't know, I guess you would make friends here. But for my job, it just, yeah, it would make sense. Because I've got to get, get out and go and do viewings in bloody Knightsbridge, you know. Yeah, Look at that Uber boat. That's how everyone gets here from, like, Battersea and everything. You can basically see Egypt from here as well. Mm. Great. Yeah, I mean, it's just getting these units on the market. That's the thing, you know. I think that went really... Oh, three drains, bad luck. Um, I thought that went really well. It's very different to what we're used to in, in West London. So, yeah, it's cool. I'd love to live in one of these places. I just don't know if it's the right sort of area. They put fake people up here to make it look more lively. So I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure I'm a fan of that. Um, but these are great flats. You know, very cool, very very New Yorky. But I think if you're going to live in massive towers, you've got to be, got to be in New York. I think that's the, uh, that's the main thing. But there will be lots of buyers for something like this, and we're excited to market it. It's just not a personal, you know, personal taste of mine. But most of these buildings are like 90% sold, so they do sell. And they're really good. Ava's just talking to one of the fake people. Um...